everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to make a Thanksgiving centerpiece. I found a shallow ceramic dish at Hobby Lobby on clearance, so I'm using that as my main base. And then to determine the shape of the centerpiece, I'm using my main flower, um, the, the sunflower there, to kind of outline the perimeter of it. I want an oblong shape so that it runs down the center of the table. And then in determining the height, I just wanted to make it high enough to be just below eye level. Um, a, a good way of testing it is you can always rest your elbow on the table and then lean your head on your hands. And if you can see over the centerpiece, then, then you're golden. Um, I just filled in with other silk flowers here. I really like this color combination, the yellows and oranges, reds. Um, I like having that a little bit of kind of grayish green too. And then paired with the white, I think it kind of brightens up the, the centerpiece. When I think of fall, I, I don't usually think of whites, although you do see some wildflowers out there this time of year in, in white, but I, I always picture more of warm colors, the, the reds, oranges, yellows, browns. Um, I never really picture white, but uh, adding the white really just brightens it up, uh, kind of gives it a different feel. I, I've had the pleasure of working with some really great designers, and uh, one of them that I worked with said that uh, adding white to an arrangement makes it happy, and I totally agree. It does just kind of give you a smile on your face, gives you a, a, a joyful feeling. Um, you can really set the mood with the colors that you choose on your centerpiece if you wanted a more um, fancy, I guess, or more, um, dramatic, <laughs> I don't know, centerpiece you could go with, uh, maybe darker colors, richer colors. Um, but I, I always like having just kind of a, a fun feel. Uh, Thanksgiving's always a, a fun time to, to be with family. And then I found these pumpkins in, in those shades that I like so much, the oranges, and then I have the whites and also kind of the um, grayish, greenish blue color. I'm sure there's a technical term for it, but I have no idea what it is. It's pretty. Um, so I just kind of tucked them in towards the center there. That's where the focal point will be at the most. Um, and then I got this ribbon at, uh, at the dollar store. I honestly never thought of getting ribbon at the dollar store. I don't know why it never crossed my mind, but when I stopped and actually looked for it, I thought, wow, they have like a pretty nice selection. So this is a wired ribbon. I'm just gonna make a few loops and then I will tuck it in along um, the longer sides of the center piece so that the ribbon can flow down the center of the table. And I actually had misplaced my wire pick, so that ribbon's actually just kind of sitting in there, but I did glue it in later. <laughs> but for the sake of not having to hunt down all my stuff while on video, I thought I'd just do the wire. And because it is a wired ribbon, it's nice to uh, really fluff out those um, loops and you can kind of make the, the tails of the ribbon roll out. Uh, just gives it a nice pretty flow to it. And then to finish it off, I still had a little bit of my mechanic showing along the base. So I grabbed some, uh, some of the sphagnum moss, which again, I got at the dollar store. I, I just didn't think of looking for this stuff there, but, but for a dollar, I got a whole bag of it. Um, just tucked it along the base there. You don't want anybody seeing how it went together. Just want to cover your mechanics and, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching.